The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Boy, it's great to be back with you. Um, we've been having some really interesting things going on here at my at my neck of the woods. Um, if you're trying to watch YouTube, we are having more problems. If we haven't. It, that is not the station. We're here with you on the station, but but the simulcast, I'm video recording it and I will put it up later. A lot of you watch that way anyway, but if you're trying to, to watch this, um, you're going to want to go to TTR, uh, TransformationTalkRadio.com or WBLQ.net um, to listen to the live episode. So we're going to keep powering on because I'm just going to keep pushing. I don't give up. And... You know, um, sometimes you wonder, like, why all the obstacles? Because obstacles help us learn. And you know what? I'm learning with you. That's exactly what we're doing. So we're doing the angel guidance for September, September of 2016. That's what we want to do for this episode. And I'm telling you, I have... A lot of positive, even though I've been going through all these technical things here, um, there's just conflict, software updates, and then it doesn't work with something else. So, you know, that's just something I have to be patient with over here. So I will record the video and put it up later. It'll give me, give me a few hours. It'll be up at the end of the day. But here we are. So we have angel guidance. Let's focus on the topic and let's just move through this. November was interesting. It had huge surges of energy energy that oh my goodness I mean I know a lot of people were writing in and I have all kinds of your um, I have all the emails I have all the questions and I want to go over some of those concerns of things that I got I was on a break for a couple of weeks so everything just piled on top of each other but I'm back. I'm glad to be back. And daggone it, I was going to be on the air somehow, some way today, for heaven's sake. So here's the first one that I want to address. And this, when we're talking about angels, there's a little bit of confusion out there. And this is my, this is my stand on this, if you want to call it something. Uh, everybody out there has different perspectives, different beliefs, Think of it in religion, the different vast ways that people connect. I have no problem with how anybody connects. That's up to them. My focus and my goals as a, as a spiritual inspiration to you. I don't, you know, teacher doesn't even fit anymore because I feel like I'm learning just as much as you are. We're working in a brand new world, a brand new energy, a brand new environment. And yes, we won't know all the answers. Here's the thing, though, and I said this probably, what, a month ago, the last time I was on. You know, they are there. The angels are there. They're not leaving. They're not leaving. And they have, I, I deal with them. I talk with them all the time. But they are, like I said before, taking those training wheels back because they do want us to practice our skills. They want us to trust... And the exciting part about what I'm seeing is they want you to know the power and the abilities that are waking up for you yourself, that where you can do some of these things. I know. Now, I'm not going to name individual things. I want you to know that they're not abandoning you. They're helping you learn to trust your abilities that are waking up. Let me put it that way. They want you to trust them more. 
Um, and, you know, when you have second guessing or second doubts or you're looking for that insurance for someone to tell you, you know, um, right now I could tell you all day long, yes, they're there. But do you believe and do you trust that they're there? That's really the, the bottom line right there. I'm going to give you wholeheartedly open from my heart to yours what needs to happen here, um, what you need to do. And when I say what you need to do, it is open up and trust yourself more. Trust yourself a whole lot more. And it really has gotten down to the wire where they don't, like I said, they, I, I described it as they took the training wheels away. And yeah, they took the training wheels away because they want you to practice. They want you to get stronger and they want you to see the abilities that you have that you probably didn't even realize are waking up within you. The other thing that's happening is there's a lot of different perspectives on angels. And um, I'm going to keep this in general. It won't be specific. But, you know, some people feel like they're too busy. They don't have time for us because they're too busy. Or maybe one in particular might be too busy. That is not how that works for me personally. I will share what it is for me. Some people feel that way. I'm not here to correct that. I'm here to tell you how it works for me and I share that with you. And if that's helping you and resonating with you, that's who I'm here for. If it doesn't, then you might want to leave what I'm saying and go find what works for you. There isn't one way. There's not one way for any of this to work anymore. No. And you're unique in how you connect. So it really does want you to find that. It really does want you to find that, discover that. So it's interesting. It's interesting, absolutely interesting, because I just looked at the clock and it's 1111. I love that. <laughs> how many of you are seeing that all the time? Yeah, 1111 everywhere, right? Well, the angel guidance that's coming through, because we just had Sagittarius influence come through, and we've been through the challenges. We see a lot of uproar. We see a lot of dismantling out there. We see a lot of passion. Uh, we see a lot of people fighting, you know, for the right thing with what they believe. And the, we see people conflicting here and there. Yes, we're going to still see that a little bit. You're going to see both. But what I want to show you and my, my stance, and this is another question I got. What was my political stance on things? You won't hear me talk about that. And I'm going to just answer you right now on that one. Because what I think doesn't matter. It's what you think. And I don't want to influence that way. I want you to trust what is right for you on that. That's it with that, okay? So my goal as a healer, as a teacher, as, as an inspiration, as somebody that is going to find a way to get a communication to you somehow, I feel like I need to get the little cups with the string now. But is for you to know what's right for you, not what I think you should or shouldn't do, what I believe, what I, what I do for me. I mean, I share it and then you can take it or leave it. So I really wanted to hit that up front. Um, that's important. That's important to me that you know that I'm not here to manipulate or sway you in any way. We, I think we have enough of that out there. I don't need to do it. Uh, I'm here to give you options. I'm, I want to give you choices. I want to show you how to raise your frequency and move into a fifth dimension way of life. Right now, fifth dimension existence is already here, but you have to choose to ascend into that frequency to do that. So I'm putting all of my focus and my energy in bringing you into that. And it won't help you if I keep focusing on what everybody's upset about. So I, I really want to address that. I wanted to let you know there's plenty, there's plenty of stuff out there if that's what you want. But when you come here, I want to give you inspiration. I want to give you positive focus. I want to give you hope because that's what the angels give me on a daily basis. They give me hope. They, they give me don't give up. Keep going. <laughs> Just like we did for the last month trying to get on the air, right? And you know, 
people are going to be discouraged and I'm, I'm here to show you options, a, a different way to think, different perspective to focus on to help raise your frequency. So that is where I will focus. Okay. Another question that comes up about angels, and this would be another one when it comes into the beliefs or conflicts. And I got, guys, I want to say thank you for sending these questions in uh, or calling them in. Absolutely do that because I want people to know, you know, that I'm going to answer them. You may or may not like my answer, but I will answer them. Uh, but the other one is about, is more religion based. If you were raised in religion that, metaphysics is not you know good or it's evil and all of that um, I'm not here to correct that either I'm here to present the perspective from a metaphysical point of view what how it works for me um, I was raised in religion that thought the same thing I chose to move away from that because this is what's resonating for me. This is what's working for me. Um, that's a choice you have to make. If you are so afraid that everything you do is wrong or God's going to get mad at you, you're working with fear. So that's a big one that um, you're looking to overcome. I don't work with fear anymore doing this. So this is what works for me. So angel guidance for December. We're going to go into that when we come back from the break. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Uh, we are back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. And welcome to the show if you're brand new. We're live streaming on TransformationTalkRadio.com and WBLQ in Westerly, Rhode Island. Um, for those that watch the video on YouTube, yes, I am video recording. It is not live over there. Um, 
Funny thing, updates with Mac, I think, are my problem over here. So I have to be patient till they catch it all up. You know how that can be with computers. So, but we are recording it and I will upload it as soon as possible. So back to what we're talking about. We're talking about angel guidance for December of 2016. Now Archangel Haniel comes through and it's a beautiful gentle energy that comes through with Haniel. It's H-A-N-I-E-L by the way and it's about lighting the world yourself too. Like not expecting the angels to come and fix it all or what should I do? What should I do? What do they have for me? What do they have for me? What they're telling me, oh, I just get the biggest chills when it comes through. What they're telling me is it's time to practice us uh, supporting you leading the way a little bit more. So for if you have been feeling that they're not listening to you or you feel disconnected, it's not that they left. It's not that they left at all. And it's, in my humble opinion, it's not that they're too busy. They are there. They will not. They're, they're always there. They're not human. It's different. Um, but they come from a source of light and love. I mean, a very high frequency. They want to help you raise yours. So it's, it's just time for us to leave third dimensional thinking that's fear-based. If you have any kind of fear of anything, um, especially connecting with them, like, is it, is it, good or bad or are you doing it right or wrong honestly i think that's all coming from fear-based thinking um i have never experienced it that way ever and i have been in connect connection with them since i was a child they have never come across that way they do challenge me yeah being challenged they do challenge me and they do teach me things so I don't just sit around and wait for everything to be handed to me. And it's not easy. Sometimes it's actually pretty challenging or it's like, oh, I got to put some effort into this or wow, I got to practice that more. Yes, it comes through like that. It'll come through like that a lot. Those are the things you want to grab onto and embrace and have a different perspective or attitude going into that. Haniel says, you know, we need more love, we need more positive. We need to not second guess as soon as it's changing or as soon as it's, it's different or we feel like, oh, I'm out there by myself and I have to make a choice. Now we feel like we got abandoned. Where is that actually coming from? You see, where is that coming from? It's not coming from them. That's coming from self-doubt. So I, yeah, we're, we're kind of throwing it all on the table right now because it really needs to be out there. You will be experiencing probably a little bit more fatigue. You might need to sleep more. If you are really taking a proactive initiative to raise your frequency, to heal, release, we've gone through the last couple of months of we've got to just get rid of this. We've got to let it go. We've got to let it go. The more you still, if you're trying to overlap or carry something over, it's going to be even harder and harder to hang on to it. That's the way to describe it, I guess. It, you just can't hang on to it. You've got to let it go. So when I say that, it can get very emotional in certain situations, I know, because everybody's kind of going through something different. It might be people that are going away. It might be, you know, you might be going through a big shift in something in your life. I understand that. But I am too. I am too. I'm not going to kid you right now. I, I am too. Um, not just this stuff with the technical all kinds of stuff. Physically, I can feel the body changing. Uh, and I work with this all the time. But the best part of it right now that I can share, yes, our bodies are changing. They're making new cells. It's, it's, it's responding to all this energy flowing in. And it's happening so fast that it can be uncomfortable. You may feel like you have the flu or you might feel like you keep getting a cold. You might feel like you can't get enough sleep. You might have all these different things and you know medically that you're okay. All right, please listen to me on that. You know medically or that you don't have anything serious. Some people are having heart palpitations. Make sure there isn't something going on. But if you have all of these things happening and it's not like a crisis, you're just going through it. You're detoxifying, especially with a cold. Um, 
it's really taking a different perspective instead of complaining oh I got a cold or oh so so at the office gave me a cold or whatever it is you know that we used to look at it as or grabbing all the medicine off the shelf and doing that let your body detox a little bit no it's not as comfortable trust me because I do it that way myself personally believe it or not I'm doing that right now uh, yeah woke up not so great but this whole last week has been a big metamorphosis for me personally a lot of dreams a lot of visions a lot of um, physical changes I, I mean I was exhausted and I knew it was the the cleansing and the releasement and then all of a sudden you wake up with all that interesting cold stuff now I may or may not sound like it yeah well I'm doing everything natural for it you bet every bit of it because I refuse to take any medicine that's me personally I won't do it I won't do it and so I'm doing all kinds of stuff that's natural and here I am here I am and a couple hours ago you would have been like Ugh. you know and good thing you can't catch anything over an, a radio airwave right but it's not like somebody gave it to me I haven't been around anybody to get it from anywhere uh, it was the transition and as a healer and as an energy healer I always heat up and I can always feel when it's detoxifying things off well healers if you're a light worker you're a healer out there you may find that you're going through a little bit more of that than you used to because we kind of are you know you're kind of absorbing that from others make sure that you're putting yourself as a priority to release that off we're not here to be martyrs and suffer like that it's not that way at all these are things the angels have been telling me in big ways they've been telling me don't be afraid don't second guess you know you're gonna see things falling apart you're gonna see some challenges which you know I'm having them but don't don't be afraid and second guess or or quit it, well, like some of it was like don't quit find another way remember that old saying about the water will always find a way around the rock mm. be the water that finds a way around the rock and Haniel's like you know you you can't look you can't possibly learn how to be a light in your own world be the light you seek okay be that positive inspiration that you're looking for right now we really are in a corner I guess it's a corner like okay time to step up to the plate and shine from within let's see what you got and if everybody's playing catch up out there you might feel like wow okay I got some detoxing to do I've got some you know maybe some dietary changes to do I, maybe I need to think differently maybe I need to just stop being so negative or you know you might be going through quite a bit of that right now or you feel like every time I try to be positive it kicks me because it's test you know yeah it will a little bit because you're practicing to be stronger than it okay you can't get stronger unless you have something to practice with that's it's kind of like strength training you keep going up you know you can't lift that very heavy weight at first you start light you just keep going and then you know you stay with it now you're lifting that heavy weight that's an analogy like when you're strength training okay spiritual fitness is what you're feeling right now how fit are you how fit that's what you're feeling so physically our bodies need to cleanse they need to repair you go you're going to be more tired because your body makes cells only when you're asleep when you're asleep is when the body makes new cells okay so you might find that you're more tired just go with it if you can do the best you can take those little naps uh, sleep a little bit longer put an extra hour in go to bed an hour earlier or something it won't be like that every day but you might be that way for a few weeks at times you're going through big changes now when I feel the tired coming on I actually smile I actually smile and this is a perspective I want to share with you that they gave me that Michael gave me he said every time you feel tired smile and know that you're ascending because when you go to sleep we're going to make new cells that will radiate with those frequencies much better that will you know align they can respond to the frequencies better so if all of that energy and frequency has changed 
we're going through big upgrades. Yeah, we're going through big upgrades and it'll be a little glitchy, kind of like the computer's doing right now. So, and I got a new computer too, by the way. So it's just, it's just software and operating system updates that are conflicting. Um, but it will catch up. It'll catch up. And if I need to do this differently, I'll do it differently. And I, you know, don't think, you know, I haven't thought about that. It's like, okay, what are you doing here? So we just keep going. We just keep going. And it's not about quitting. It's not about, well, I need somebody to just tell me what to do. No, those days are, well, I don't think those days are here anymore. I don't. I don't think they're here for somebody to tell you what to do anymore. I'm here to show you that you can do it. I'm here to show you ways that you can work and practice with that. So we're working with getting that light out. And that's a big one because of... December being a time after the big challenge and upheaval, there is some positive in there, but you have to focus on it to pick up on it. If you're focusing on all the scary stuff in the news, you're not going to recognize what I'm talking about. So you, you have to see it that way as well. We're going to take another short break, and when we come back, I'm going to keep going because I want to get some of this information out to you as soon as I can. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. And we're back live. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show, if you're just tuning in. And we're talking about angel guidance for December of 2016. How can we move through this energy the best that we can? Now, I have a lot of questions that came in for e from emails uh, over the last month. And I'm going through them kind of in general quickly because I want to try to get the information out there and get everybody caught up here. First of all, you have to look at a balance in your life. 
Are you pushing too hard? Are you receiving kind of the yin yang part? Okay, that's one of the things that you're going to want to look at. The releasement is don't force it. You don't have to force a releasement. You don't have to force a receiving. It's more of a an intention with focus for what is in your best and highest good. If you put that out there, don't worry about the details so much because you may be going through some big decisions that you need to make. And yes, you want to think about that and you want to meditate over that. You want to pray about that. You may be in a dire strait where you really need something happening. Um, maybe it's financial. Maybe you are really in a, in a situation there. If you don't believe that it's going to come through, it's kind of a block. Let me put it that way. Um, you need to believe that you are worthy of whatever you need to receive uh, to to be your best. If you're going through something, and I'm not saying you don't get you get denied, but sometimes if we're getting real specific about a certain way things are to be answered, we're missing the answer. Sometimes we feel like, okay, this is what I need to make this happen. And we throw it out there in a very specific way to the universe or to the angels, to God. And they answer, God answers. But did we hear it? Was it, were you, you're not hearing it because it's not the answer you wanted. Well, wait, no, I asked for this. Well, they answer, but you know, maybe there's a little bit more to what's happening here. Maybe there's a, something to learn from the experience. Whenever it's challenging, there is always something to learn. Trust me, we, that's when we learn the most. You don't have to go through a challenge to learn, but that is honestly the way we learn the most is when we go through a challenge. So I always approach things like that when I feel like I'm in a corner and it's like, okay, I don't know what to do. This is what I think I need. It doesn't seem to be happening. What, what now? I start, I look for, what do I need to learn from going through this experience? What do I need to learn? Archangel Michael came through with that one and really wanted me to share that. Like, what, what could you learn from this experience? If, if you are in an angry state, what are you doing to release the anger? Are you doing anything or, or is there just a lot of complaining? You know, you have to do something proactively that's a positive to help you move it through. Anger is one of our emotions. We address it. We acknowledge it. And then we heal and we process and release and we let it move through. I always think of uh, emotions as storms that are passing through. Uh, you are not identified by, by that. It's an emotion that you are experiencing. And sometimes if we're making it about what somebody else did or uh, something else, we're making it, you know, outside of ourselves and we're completely ignoring the that inner message, that inner lesson that we really should be tending to. In my experience, and it's happened a lot, it's been happening for a while, for several years, when I go with that approach, what can I learn? Like, where's the fear coming from? Where's the doubt coming from? It's not coming from your higher self. It's coming from the ego side of us. It's coming from the human side of us that, you know, doesn't trust. Your higher self is what really needs to be coming into the, into the picture more. And that is where you will learn and grow. That's when those things that really upset you in the past won't anymore. It's not that things change so much as it is how it affects you. So that's big. That's big right there. And I'm going deep into this because that's what you need to hear right now for me is how do I do something about it? What can I do about this? First, you need to want to, and you have to have intention that you actually want to be proactive in your growth, your ascension, your healing, your abilities to connect directly are waking up. You will have a lot more abilities in manifesting much more quickly. That's all coming in. It's all here right now. It is. It's all here right now, but it won't you won't feel like it's in your life if you're focusing all the things that are wrong or what you're worried about, what you're afraid about. You really have to just go, you know what, I'm going to take a break from that. It's like I'm sabbatical on that. 
focus on all these other things that are a little bit more positive, you will start to see more of that come in. And it won't take that long. It used to take a long time. Well, in our timeline, but timelines are not even what they were before. Have you ever noticed that? Have you noticed that in the last month, how different timelines are? It doesn't seem like time's moving the way it did before. But no, it's not just you. It really is changing. Timelines are, it's like they're, mer everything's kind of merged and on top of each other right now. And the beautiful part about this message that you need to hear is you have a choice here. You, you got this third dimension, the old way, all the pain, all the stuff that's been happening in the world. And then you have this new fifth dimension that really you can't take any of that with you. You can't go to a higher frequency and take that heavy, dense stuff with you. So you got to let it go. All this letting go, letting go is so you can go there. Yeah, no, there's no other way around that. that. I haven't found another way around that. I'm giving you what I know. The other thing is all around you, they're going to talk to you. They're going to send you messages, but are you even paying attention to that? You basically just learn to be aware of what's around you. Learn to be aware. Is there a question you had and then somebody else is answering it without you even bringing that subject up and you're just hearing, gosh, that's exactly what I was thinking about or was wondering about and they seem to just be spurting out this answer that you had no idea? That is not a fluke. That's a synchronicity and an answer. <laughs> that is. They will use that. The more you start to notice these things, the easier it is. Like I, the biggest thing that they keep bringing me back to is there's more of a panic. Now, I don't know if panic's the right word, but more of a everybody feels a little frozen because what they used to do doesn't work. And you miss connecting. I, yeah, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, I get that. Uh, you miss that. You miss you miss, you know, the way it was because that's what you knew and you were familiar with. Well, the more time you waste with that, honestly, the more time you're taking away from moving forward. And I'm learning it too. And of course, we like the comfort zone. It's like, oh, I got all this figured out. I'll do it this way and I'll do it that way. And it's not so much like that because we are moving into something brand new. The perspective is the biggest thing that I'm noticing that may help you. Perspective. Like how do you approach a situation? What is your first response with certain areas of life? If you find and identify the positive and the negative ones, you say, like positive, okay, I'm pretty good there. Well, what is it that you're doing that might be more negative that's holding you back? And you're looking, that's your anchors that are holding you back. We don't necessarily want to focus on them, but with intention, say, okay, when that situation comes up again, or if I have, if I've been presented with this, I don't want to respond that way anymore. I want to change that. If you just have that intention and then you ask for that help, release it and let it go. How many of you out there are asking angels for help over and over and over and over just in case, like, please, please, and begging and please, and please help me and please help me. Just hear me out for a second. If that's the approach you're taking, I'm suggesting that instead of saying, please, 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 like they might decide to listen to you, take a different approach. Uh, do you believe that they do or not? First, you got to decide that. Do you believe that they listen to you? Do you believe that your prayers are heard? If you say, well, yes, of course, then take that approach. It might feel weird at first, but you're going to start to see, oh, wait, I'm tripping myself up there. So if you were to take an approach like, thank you so much for watching my back with that one, or thank you for that, you know, it's not necessarily a asking, but more of a, Thank you for being there because they are there. They're already there. They've been there the whole time. So it's more of an appreciation and gratitude for they're already there. It would give more, um, it would give you more practice and a frequency that of receiving versus please, which is more 
are you, can you hear me? Would you maybe listen to me? Um, that's really coming from a lack of faith that they're even going to acknowledge you. And then if you did that and you did it over and over again, wow, you know, do you even believe that they hear you? This is what you want to look at. This is how you learn and grow. Because once you get to that mindset, well, of course they're there. They've always been there. When have they ever failed me? Okay. They don't. But do we acknowledge it? Do we say thank you? Do we say, yeah, okay, they're here. So these are things to work on right now because this is really important because that isolation of feeling like, wait, they took my trading wheels off. I'm not quite sure what to think. Perfect time to practice this. If you change that approach, it's out of respect. It's not, it's, it's, it's not anything like you, ha you ha don't have to be like that. That is an old thing to me. Uh, I'm giving you my perspective and what has worked for me and what has changed. Um, it used to be, oh, please, oh, please, or don't get mad. You know, that came from the fear-based way I was raised. Uh, once I got that out of my system and realized there's nothing to beg. I just need to say thank you and acknowledge that they're there and embrace that relationship that we have. That's where you're going. That's where we are right now. That's actually available right now. And that's going to take some perspective for you to work on. They can't convince you of that. Okay. If there's that constant need of reassurance that, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe it basically, they let you go with that for a bit, but now we're, now we have to, now we really have to do our homework and we have to practice that. So yeah, I'm kind of hitting some nitty gritty stuff today because I really needed to because I want to help you so much. So we're going to take the last break. When we come back, we'll wrap it up. We're talking about the angel guidance that's going to really help you through this last month of December. And I'm going to tell you why when we get back because 2017 is a great year. And you 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 want to you know be ready for 2017 i'm dr jen we'll be right back after the break tune into the jen royster show intuitive guidance to inspire your life this amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information.
and we're back live for the last segment. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show if you're just tuning in. And we've been talking about in this hour angel guidance for December. And I've been going over quite a bit, uh, going in deeper on how you can tweak this a bit to improve and to help you. This angel guidance is about helping you pull out your abilities that are waking up. And I've been going over things that you can do to start to improve that. So, <clears throat> no, it's like, oh, you know, it's not just, okay, do this, do that. It is about, you know, looking for the positives within yourself. You may think that all you have is negative in your life. That's what you've acknowledged. This is coming. This is what I got to tell you, okay? I just got to not play around with this and tell you. That's all you're acknowledging. Look for something positive and then start building on that because now's the time to do that. 2017 is just around the corner in a month and it's a great year. This was the year of turning us inside out, going deep, pulling out that spiritual depth of us, you know, and that's, that's why we feel this right now. This is what you're going through. It's just like, it's just a major house cleaning from within. Releasing, okay, clean out that closet, get rid of that, get, you know, this, okay, I'm going to change my ways there. This whole year has been that. You're in the last month of some strong waves of energy coming through to really help push and nudge that. That's what all these waves of energy have been doing. They kind of come in like the tide, in and out, in and out. And they've been ramping up. And it has felt like that. This last three or four months of the year, whoa, it is really ramping up and it just keeps getting more and more that way. Now's not the time to give up. You're almost, you know, you're almost through this big tough part and 2017 is going to be bringing through and, and this is what's coming through. I saw it also in numerology, but I also am hearing that and I've been receiving that as well from angels that they said, you know, don't give up now. I know you've got a lot of doubt. I know you're second guessing some things, but that's exactly what we want you to work on practicing to not second guess, to trust more, to, to go for your dreams and, and think about them that way. I mean, you know, just it's really practicing keeping a positive outlook on life. And that is something when you got all this stuff going on out in the world and then they're saying, okay, now we've got all this going on, which isn't so great. We want you to think positive. I know you feel like really, really, I know, I know, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what they want you to do. And it, it, it will pay off. It's going to pay off. All the hard work you're doing is going to pay off. So they keep saying, do not give up now. Don't give up now. If you're going through the physical cleansing, do what you need to do. These are the tips here. Let me just go through it quickly. If you're going through physical challenges, do what you need to do to cleanse your body and nurture your body and give it what it needs. Whether it's a detox or detoxing, changing your diet, giving it the nutrition it needs, the exercise. And in addition to that, which will feed the body as well, is your mindset. Okay? Part of that is the problem you know the mindset actually needs to be coming from the heart the heart brain or heart mind heart brain not so much this one okay not so much your head and that thinking and that analyzing and over and over and that's the second guessing but listening to your heart more what nudges are you getting that are coming off from a heartfelt perspective that actually needs some priority and that's the big message here that I really want to make sure you hear. What is your heart telling you? What is your mind telling you? Do you know the difference? Do you know the difference? You need to pay attention to that. You need to do some focus there. It really is going to matter. It really will help you uh, in a huge way to waken up your own abilities and gifts to have this connection and not feel like, oh, I have nowhere else. You know, I have no idea what I'm doing. Nobody knows what they're doing right now, including me and everybody else in this position. And 
nobody has the exact like what's going on because we've never been through this before okay nobody has any of that we're all going through it together uh, my body's detoxing i've been going through it i work on it all the time and i'm going through it too so and i do every day i don't feel discouraged about it you know sometimes they're like oh really i've been doing all this no it just means wow more's coming off because more cells are being made you have to get rid of one thing in the closet for something else to come in. So there's going to be a constant movement of that, okay, physically. Your body is going to be able to support this higher frequency, but you want to help support it while it's going through these massive changes. You're basically creating a brand new body without dying and getting a new one. Think of it that way. Yeah, it's kind of, really, that is, that's what it's like. It's, we're doing it without leaving and coming back into something different or changing. Oh, it's like, oh, I'm going to go get a new body. No, no. You're going to make it simultaneously while living in the older one. And that's what's going on. So I know you can do it. I know if you tune into this show, you're looking for that positive incentive. And that's what you're going to get from this show. And I have no idea how many... <laughs> How many more weeks I'm going to be having to record? We're going to have to make some adjustments a little bit because obviously some of my um, stuff doesn't want to play nice with the upgrades on the computer. So it, it's just the way it is. And we're going to go with it. We're going to be flexible with it. We're just going to keep persevering and powering on. Um, I got it recorded, so at least I've got that. But we're working on it. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try to find a way. Maybe i got to find... A water around the rock here just like I was telling you I'm here for you I want you to know that I haven't given up on you um, but they have been working with me a lot and just to share so this this may relate to you and what you've been going through they've been changing all kinds of stuff for me I mean I thought I had one whole plan for this and that and this and that well no no we're gonna do it different so the whole last maybe five months has been a lot of difference and a lot of change and unexpected stuff for me too and I'm here as a witness to say hey you know I'm going through it too I'm here I'm here to show you that I'm going through it too I have no idea I'm just gonna keep plugging and trying and and keep my positive uh, my positive mindset and then I'm gonna let it show me what it needs to show me and what do I need to learn and which way do I need to go in it maybe I gotta take a really big direction turn I don't know but think of it that way with what you're going through okay and that's why I'm sharing that so you can kind of it's like okay maybe that's it for me too I want to say thank you guys for listening to the show and sending in your questions and being being patient with us while we're going through some interesting things and know that you're not alone they've never left you but they want you to do some homework okay thanks so much guys for listening we'll see you next time here on the Jen Royster show namaste You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.genroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.